and now this tutorial is ready you can just test it with the android and ios links which we have created in our previous tutorials <music> and now let us come to the init block here and we have declared the apps flyer configuration previously and now let us try to give the apps flyer sdk and uh, let us try to initialize the sdk and let us try to see once the util file uh, we have okay now where we are using this now let us try to enable the callback of deep link here so we need to register on deep linking callback here and make it true so this is the very important step so don't miss this particular step because we are uh, registering on this particular callback so that we will listen to the this particular deep link and try to fetch the parameters out of it so that we can utilize them in our navigation so the next step is apps flyer sdk dot we need to make use of this particular deep linking here and the callback which we have specified right so we need to make use of it deep link result and we need to catch this particular result here and try to make use of it so this is our result this is nothing but the url i mean once we open up the screen right so after opening up the screen we are trying to fetch the result i mean the deep link values which we have specified in our second tutorial i have clearly explained you how we have specified two parameters where i have specified the deep link parameters in the apps flyer dashboard so i suggest you to watch it or else i'll be showing you again in the next tutorial so we need to get the status here so status equal to result dot status here and this particular status we need to first identify what is the current status and then based on the status we need to process further just to avoid errors final deep link and now we are going to also fetch the deep link data here data equal to result dot deep link so from this particular result dot deep link we are going to fetch the data and from the status we are going to fetch the status so once the status is success and here the status is i mean not success or anything we have like a different here in this particular library so here status so if status double equal to status dot found here so if the status dot found which means that our deep link i mean we have we are able to find the deep link result here and also make sure the deep link data which we have specified right this should not be null and now try to fetch the data with the help of our deep link data dot here we have like click event deep link value af sub 1 and all these things so we'll make use of click event here and also you can make use of deep link value here but what is deep link value and why we are using click event this i'll be showing you in the apps flyer dashboard so i'm go i'm going to make use of the click event here and final deep if i just miss it just let me know in the comment section below i will surely try to add the comment as well like why i am making use of click event so equal to data and here we are trying to fetch the parameter here deep link deep link sub one this particular parameter we are getting from the apps flyer here as string and now we need to address the else block as well so if the status is not found sometimes the status will also be error then in that particular scenario we can just add a print here 
and again this is like a custom message deep link status is you can provide it in this way status dot to string or you can simply specify data is null okay uh, that's it for the else block and now here we have got the deep link value and we need to process it further and to process it further let us try to create a separate method because this is getting expanded a lot and we'll try to make a method like void handle incoming link and you can also make it private as i did here or else you can so string and here we are going to pass the path here and for your confirmation you can just print the path here you can make it like deep link value just to make sure like uh, sometimes you might be facing issues right whether the path is coming or not you can just confirm here and the next step is quickly we are going to specify the switch and we are going to pass path to it and with the help of this particular switch we are going to navigate in between the screens so the first one is like home and again these particular names you can just uh, provide as you wish i'm just in a simple way i'm providing and now we are going to make use of a navigator key here dot current state and current state dot push named and we are going to specify forward slash and also if you don't want this forward slash every time you can just specify a constant file and there you can define these things and you can make use of it that's a better practice again so this is just for a tutorial i'm uh, providing them directly here and the next case as well so this is gonna be a profile screen and for home also you can append it like a home screen here that would be much better and again these things are same and let us specify profile here and also you need a default case and this default case i am going to provide again the home screen over here and now you need to handle this particular incoming link and this is where you need to specify the handle income link and you need to provide the data what you are getting that is nothing but the deep link value here and this is it and we have almost configured the application and everything will work fine now and i suggest you to give it a try and try to run the code and see the output once and in our next tutorial i'll be trying to show you how this code works and we can also configure the one link and try to see how we can move between two different screens in between these two screens like home or profile we can add one more screen as well and dynamically we'll try to navigate with the help of our deep linking and i'll be providing the code for this tutorial in the description section below also here in this particular i card i'm going to provide the link for the tutorial code here and i hope you found this tutorial interesting and also give it a try just try to uh, open the deep link and try to navigate with this particular code and if you are facing any issues and if you are facing any issues just let me know in the comment section below in the next tutorial we'll try to cover those things and now this tutorial is ready you can just test it with the android and ios link which we have created in our previous tutorials and if you are facing any issues just let me know in the comment section below i will surely try to help you in the next tutorial we'll try to see how this navigation works between the screens and also one more important step uh, which we have missed here so we have made use of the global key here right navigator key you need to specify it over here or else this won't work okay so this is the most important thing you need to specify the navigator key over here and also uh, we are specifying profile here 
and also remove this forward slash profile screen and so here we have specified only profile and also make sure here only profile is there and now again a very quick heads up here we have not specified the navigator key so let's make sure you specify the navigator key here in the material app or else the navigation won't work here so we are specifying the navigator key and also here we have specified profile screen but here we have only specified profile so just make sure you do these things and try to test this it will surely work for you so just make sure you go to a go through our previous two tutorials for android and ios so these are the two tutorials if you go through them and try this particular tutorial this will work 100 percent for you and if not in our coming tutorials i will again try to clearly show you how this tutorial runs and how we can navigate in between the screens and this particular tutorial i just want to cover the code thing so we have completely made the code and this is the perfect code for us to test the navigation things as well and also the first and second tutorial is most important for you if you are a new beginner who is just watching this tutorial for the first time and this is it for this particular tutorial if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter